Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, back with another video at the river house that we bought, oh, about a week and a half ago. As you can see, it is beautiful up here. So we've been up here a couple of times already, just kind of hanging out and cleaning some and checking out the property, and we've noticed a few extremely surprising things about this property. So we'll go over that. We'll also talk about what we plan to do now with the remodel. I think we have that figured out, and uh, what we'll do with the property in general. So this house I bought from a wholesaler for 246000 They were thinking someone would flip it, but we decided to keep it because of where it's at. But there's a few really, really crazy things we found with this house that I didn't know about that maybe I should have known about it. But when I first looked at it, it was in the middle of the coronavirus and we literally had like three minutes to walk through the house and look at it and then walk out again. So we did not get a very good look at it the first time we saw it. So you can see it is big, it is very large. And one of the biggest surprises we found is in here. This is a bedroom. It had a few things in it before, including that, which I did not see before. And is a toilet, yes. A rather disgusting toilet that smells really bad. And there used to be a vanity or a sink right there. So there used to be a little tiny half bathroom in this bedroom. A little bit. <laughs> um, dining room, kitchen, living room, den. We have kind of blocked off some ideas we had. I think we're going to put a washer and dryer and a pantry right there. We might add a half bath right there. Brecken wants to say hi out there. <laughs> uh, and this kitchen, I think we're gonna just blow out, completely open up, put a big island right there in the middle, and then have uh, counters going all the way along that wall, take out the weird diagonal thing. Probably put uh, French doors right there, going outside. And then we're gonna try and open up this wall as much as we can have that open into this den which will pretty much be kind of a dining room now and open up this wall as much as we can and then I don't know if we'll move that stove or do something different but we want to put a fireplace right there instead of right there so that's kind of our main plan for the remodel the rest of the property will probably stay about the same there is kind of a master bedroom right here which is pretty good size. This is 16 by 18, has the deck that overlooks the river. Of course, we want to add a much bigger, larger deck that will go off the back of the property. Um, more land over here. There used to be a pool up there. We think it's an acre, almost an acre and a third. So it has a lot of space. And then tiny little closet. This for sure was a porch at one time. You can kind of see right here the supports and the header and that was probably all um, railing and screened in or open. This also, right here, we think was a porch at one time. You can see right there the same kind of designs. So these were definitely add-ons. That right there was also an add-on, the big living room. And so basically the original property was this other bedroom right here, which has a big closet right there, another door outside. This bathroom, which is absolutely disgusting, so we'll completely uh, blow that out and redo that. The kitchen, that room, and then right here, which I don't know what this was, but there's no actual laundry room right here. I thought this might be one, but it's not. There's no vent, there's no um, plumbing, so uh, I don't know. I guess we just didn't do laundry. And then this was once a garage, which as you can see, they converted to living space as well. Interesting things we found, you may have noticed this. There were three unopened bottles of Everclear and a half drinking one, plus some other unopened bottles of alcohol and opened all over the place. So um, if anybody wants a frat party with jungle juice, we have your connection right here. All right, now let's go up into the attic and see what that looks like. Okay, we're going up in the attic to see 
what it looks like. As this appears to be a lot of additions and different weird stuff going on. I was hoping I could get over to the other part through here, but I don't think I can. There's no door there. Wait a second. This might be an opening. Oh, I don't have to cut it. Look at this. Look at what is this? this is part of an old roof. This is a new roof. This is a new roof. There's lots of insulation, so that's good. Oh, look, there's some masks. <laughs> so, weird looking stains, a vent. Okay. The question is, how do we get over here without falling through the ceiling? There's no possible way for me to stand up here. It's too deep. their little walkway they had over here. If I was wearing jeans instead of shorts, it wouldn't be nearly as uncomfortable either. <laughs> Kneeling on old pieces of splintered wood. What? Oh, there's a light. Oh, yay. Look at that. Oh, there's poop up here. How the heck? That's all poop. Is that all poop? Oh my god, what has been up here? Raccoons? Did they store their cat up here? What the heck is going on? Mm. Alright, so I am in the attic of the other part of the house. There was an opening back there. I'm going to do my best not to fall through the roof first. And uh, we have a lot of different options now we can do. And one thing I'm really curious is just if that span, if these are engineered trusses, if they need a middle supporting wall, or if it's possible they can span that whole length without it, because then we can do any floor plan we want, take out any walls we want. But I don't know if it is using any support at all, or not, so we'll try and figure that out. There's my little opening. I'm going back that way, going out to the uh, slightly cooler house. <laughs> Maybe go jump in the river, because it's pretty hot in here. The first kayakers we've seen heading down the river. We found some interesting pictures in the cabin. One of those being either a 68 or 69 Corvette, I would say, pretty nice car. The shed looked a little better back then than it does today. And also, we were going down there fishing and I was trying to find some worms because I didn't really bring any bait. I was digging around and underneath this dirt is pavement. It was actually paved at one time. So you get three or four inches down and there's actually pavement down there, even though you can't see it right now. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, we will enjoy ourselves up here. The kids love it. Um, they can't get enough of it, so it's just a really cool place. We'll see uh, how it goes with the property and fixing it up and all that good stuff. And a lot of people are wondering kind of what size my properties are. <laughs> we are. That is the highway right up there. Uh, this one is 2,500 square feet with all the crazy additions and everything going on. So, a ton of space here. 2,500 square feet on one floor. And if you want to see, there's a basement, a small basement. And I go down to the river in my first video about this house, so I'll link to that as well. And then, of course, check out investformore.com. Much more information on being a realtor, investor, wholesaler. All that good stuff. And then we have nine books on Amazon now as well, too. So check those out as well. Thanks for watching. We'll have a lot more videos of this house coming up.